Today we're going to be exploring Timo's anime budget figure collection and we have five anime figures under six dollars. Now stick around till the end because there is a special one, a bonus figure that's been getting really good reviews and it's around the ten dollar mark. Hello all, my name is Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek and we're going to see what the quality is like for these budget anime figures. So let's just give a little disclaimer before we get fully into this. Yes, these are budget anime figures. These are not official figures. And this is why they come at the $6 price mark. And we start with Lloyd Forger. Of course, one of the simple ways straight away to realize that a figure is not official is that it comes in these bags, no boxes or anything like that. So three parts. I haven't fully looked at his face yet. I'm going to leave that to you to look there. Lloyd Forger from Spy Family or Spy X Family, depending on which way you want to see it. And so we take a closer look at it. It doesn't sit on the stand very well. But eyes, the eyes and the face is actually pretty good. The hair and the way the moulding is on this, I'm not seeing any real issues. Yes, if you look at the at the garments and some of the paint work on there, it is a little bit sloppy. With the main issue, I think, being that colour way there on his hand and his briefcase or his package that he's holding. And of course, he's, he's, you can see, see like the, the mould lines going down the side. But even on, say, prize figures and things like that, you do get these little mold lines. They're not as obvious half the time. But I think he is really cool, and I think people will be really happy to get Lloyd Forger there for under $6. Is Monkey D. Luffy. His eyes? I'm not too sure about that face. He is very shiny. You can see the reflection there. The, the paintwork is very, very shiny. Very flimsy little pieces there, but him himself is pretty solid. All that plastic is fairly solid, and he is what looks like a noodle supper, so you'd sit him on the top of your noodles as you can in noodles are processing. Processing, you know what I mean? <laughs> as your noodles are basically steaming into the hot water, and you keep the lid on, put this on top of it, and hold it in place. Now, he looks very deep in thought. He's actually not too bad. I've seen much worse when it comes to stuff like this, and I've seen the faces be horrendous. But Monkey D. Luffy is looking pretty damn cool. We've got another three more to look at here. At that six dollar price mark before we get into that bonus figure at the end any ideas what the bonus figure could be let me know in the comments down below amelia from v0 at least i'm fairly sure that is who it is because if you've ever been on timu nine out of ten they don't actually give you the name of the series but we are going to take a closer look here at amelia it definitely seems to be that her character transfers on the face again are actually really good for what this is the quality could be slightly higher but overall it looks really good. The mould on the hair, there is a few little nickets there at the side. You can see where it's been caught. And there's a few little bits at the side here as well. Still pretty solid. The dress itself still actually has a texture. Skin tone, a little bit faded. You can see how plasticky it actually is. But that's not overly bad. I can't quite tell that's stuck on. That's pretty solid there. If you look at her bow, you can see in there as well, you can see... The paint is kind of smudging over the top, so lack of quality there, but it is a $6 figure. And we do actually have a third one. And I have done a noodle supper video before, but I was worried. Uh, I don't know if you can see them in the back. I've got three from Sword Art Online, and I can't get these no more. And this is why I've now done a full test on the noodle stopper, because if they do fall into the noodles, they get stained or broken. I've got no way of replacing them. I am looking to get some cheaper official ones, but if you want to see me test them cheaper official ones, as well as the ones from Timu, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be very much happy to do that for you. Now, here is Rem from ReZero as well, and this is where we can start to see some of the quality kind of dip. Yes, I think what she's wearing there is meant to be a bit see-through, but the quality of the kind of see-through material is not very good. It looks more slimy than anything else. Hair-wise, not too bad again, but that fade from the blue to the clear is not very good. I don't quite like that. I've got a figure similar to it. The background that I keep hitting the wheel a more, where I think it was a Sega one that did that as well. It was a little bit better with the gradient, how it worked, and it was quite clear through as well, but I still didn't personally like that. Like The legs aren't too bad, but her shoulders and everything are super, super shiny. You can really see the reflection there. And that is a sign of like the cheaper plastics that used for it. Upside, the transfers, face are pretty, pretty good. The overall look of her face and shape of face isn't too bad. It's a little out, but it's not that bad. Now, have I left the best for last? I think we might have a winner. 
This comes in a couple of parts. Drop to a wand. I think it's meant to go in that hand. And there we have Sailor Moon. I'm sorry, I am laughing a little bit. But if I put my hand there and get a closer look, look at that face. I can't, can't focus camera, but that face is bad. Can you see her amazing, huge, gigantic Adam's apple? It was really difficult to actually get into here. This is super, super flimsy. Wand is terrible. Look at them hands. Look at them hands. It's a little bit cursed to say the least. Yeah, she is not great. I think out of them five for under six dollars, this has definitely been, I guess, probably the more complicated one of the lot. There's like the lot of stand, that the star in the front that comes off. You've got the one there as well, and a lot of the hair. It is a slightly more complicated figure, but it's also the worst figure. So now, I'm guessing you're wondering what that extra figure is, what that bonus figure is, what the one that people say looks really good and got all them really nice reviews. Well, them reviews might have been exaggerated just a little bit or possibly a lot. Let's take a look at the bonus figure. Bag in a bag. I'll get the first part out and I'm sure all you anime fans out there, dedicated fans, will know this straight away. It's Ryuk from Death Note and yeah. Is that just me or is that a little bit cursed? I know Ryuk's a little bit cursed in himself anyway, but I'm not seeing that face as being as good as people are saying it is. Yeah, you can tell it's him. You can tell it's the character straight away. But when they're saying the quality's really good, you still have issues you can see there at the top, where when they've sprayed the, the neckline that it has blurred over onto here. For this one being in ten dollars, I was expecting a little bit more. I think like, so like Lloyd Forger is really good, looks really cool. Even Luffy looks pretty good in comparison to this. But of course he does come with more. Basic base. Basic, basic, base, base. Yeah, and the wings. Barely no detail in them at all. And if you kind of look, yeah, sorry, look at his butt. Look at his butt. All this is coming away. His legs are not in properly at all, so I don't know if this is actually going to go in properly. Nah, it did the job. Is he good? Hmm. That, that, that base is just going to fall straight off. So it doesn't, it doesn't secure anything. I'll, I'll just hold him by. Were you going to stick? It is a lot of a... A lot of a? It is a bigger, bigger figure. Because you've got the wingspan scale. Not a lot of detail in it. But yeah, I am not overly impressed with this. I think the wings on Albedo from my other Timu haul, which I'll link up screen here. You can see here. I think she looked a lot better. The wings looked a lot, a lot better. It had all the individual feathers and things on it. I know people said it was nowhere near as good as the original, but it's not really ever going to be. But for the size difference, like they're both more or less the same size, not as keen on Ryuk. So would I recommend you buying these anime figures, these budget collection, under $6 from Timu? Well, the, question, the answer is a bit of yes and a bit of no. If you can afford to get the official figures and pay that $30 price mark, $40 price mark, I definitely recommend you go that way. Quality is going to be better. You can get the nice box. It's going to be all protected properly. You're going to know it's, well, official so that you can resell it. But overall, yeah, that quality is definitely going to be there. But if you get figures like this from Timu, AliExpress, Wish.com, wherever it may be, you're going to come to the risk of getting something not too bad and something pretty bad. And you can never guarantee which way these are going to come. Yes, some can trick you a little bit and you can order the box with it. The boxes aren't real or official at all, as you can see in this video. And this video, I'll link them down below so you can go check them out if you want to find out how to tell the difference between the reals and fakes. But again, if you're on a budget and you can't afford that $30, $40 price mark and you've got $10, $15, you can get two of these figures easily. You can get some acrylic stands or a little bit of merchandise and I think you're going to be really happy. So all of these together, would just shy of $40. I think they're closer to the $35 mark. And that's a lot of figures for that price. So instead of getting one figure, you're getting six figures. And this is why I like to explore these videos, explore the contents of what these different websites can offer in a budget price mark. Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes it becomes laughable, just like this one from Wish. My name's been Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Trying to get nightmares. Cheers.